Hello and welcome back, Forex fans. It's Rob here again from Explomini here again with Interstellar Space Genesis with the version 1.3, now Unstable 2. And we are going to continue our Let's Play. I've been given some suggestions and tips. I'm going to try to remember them, but honestly, I have a really hard time remembering things. But the idea will be that I'm going to try to do a better job of designing some of my ships. And also, with the other bit of input I was given, I was told this wasn't going to help because they don't have any... So, his corporate bonus gives 110% 110 bonus to production and trade asteroid expectations. So, there's one even right there that's coming here. And the person said that there weren't any... I wonder if I can look to see where they're going. So Arbitros and Wasef. So there's at least one, and then there's one going there. So I think that's a good place for that guy. Because what I want to do is I'm going to probably set more to go there. And then we have this one here that we could actually... All right, so this doesn't have anything. This isn't actually being... This is just, oh, it hasn't been explored yet. So there's no way of, so outpost ship. You're gonna come back over here. Unless there's an outpost to build here, that makes sense. The gas giant, yes. Okay, we'll do that. But we should also consider an outpost ship over there to increase our production. And we also need to build a survey ship again now that we lost our other ones. And then with that, we'll build an outpost at that place, that one system here, Prasta, and take advantage of the asteroid belt there so that we can build some more production and have it come to Arbitros. Yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at right now. So the Appalachian Assembly are taking off, and I was told that that's kind of like their thing. So this is overall. All right, their tech is overall. Sorry, it's their tech that they're good at, but overall, it looks like I'm just slightly below the Multar, but way below the Palatians. And that might mean that we need to go to war with the Palatians. I'll take them out early, but I don't know if I have the ability to do so. We have inspectors, which are great. Oh, we've got an outpost ship here. Let's take that and place that there. And... I wonder if we take out the Palatians now before they become too powerful. Alright, so we've gained personal shield stuff. We also talked about taking out the kick because, of course, they gave us that very ridiculous threat. And I might just make them wish they hadn't done that. So, now we've got 10 pops and 6 pops. Maybe it will be a better idea to go for them first. Ooh, I can't accept yet, can I? No, 275. But I feel like that's a pretty good... Do we have space for her at all? No, because we have one at each of ours. Though, she is pretty good. She's well-rounded. She's definitely better than... Well, no. She's not definitely better than anybody, really. So, we'll leave them as is. Plus, I could use the BC at this point. Uh, I've been running low. So, Diplo action. Let's see what you got. Sharing what you love with a good friend is such a good feeling, isn't it? Let's start sharing some of our stuff with each other so we can both enjoy it. I just feel like these guys wouldn't talk like that. I mean, I don't know. Maybe they do. They're overall number one in everything? No. No, they weren't. There, there we go. That was weird. It actually fixed itself. It's a bug, devs. Is that how they really, I mean, is this really how they speak? Fantastic, we love sharing. I mean, they super, sound super friendly. Is that part of like their, who they are? 
I need to look into this a little bit. All right. I want to know who the Moltar are now. I want to know, like, their backstory. All right, so here we go. Most complex life in the galaxy is based on carbon, but the Moltar species evolved on a planet dominated by silicon-based biochemistry. Now, they, they now that they have expanded to space, the Moltar will soon learn that their type of life is actually a minority in the cosmos and face the bitter choice of either coexisting with aliens who will neither fully understand them or warring against the form of life which vastly outnumbers them. Alright, so they're tolerant. Tolerance do not suffer... Nope, that's not repulsive. They have a negative diplomacy modifier. They're easily seen. I don't know. Something about that just does not feel right to me. I hate to be that guy. They're a dictatorship. Like, they're... they're they're far too friendly in their communication with me. I mean, maybe because we're on better terms, but I feel like maybe a rock person would just speak differently. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Something about this text rubs me the wrong way. But anyway, enough with my... See, this is, this is what my problem is. I get critical in games. 10% ground combat strength. Great. So now we can research something else. Like medical isotopes, plus 10% population growth on Empire per source of helium. The, the I think we've got that now. Molecular refining, plus 5 revenue from trade treaties per source of helium. Enhanced logistics allows ships to move up to 10 parsecs away. Mag drive. Enhanced targeting algorithms. I feel like maybe ground combat strength would be a good thing since we're about to wage war here. I forgot, do I need... I do need some sort of like transport ship, don't I? I forgot how that works. And now I can build judges. It says 20 marines, so I imagine I don't. So I can actually... I can invade with just ships. Okay, that's it. See, now we're done. And now what I want to do is, okay, we've got something here. A survey ship, yep. Okay, cool, let's go here with that. And actually come back and take off this survey ship. Because I don't need two. The outpost ship, I don't need either. Uh-oh. Well, there's probably another asteroid belt I could probably, yeah, exploit. And then the judge will be doing its thing. And I was told that I also need to concern myself with freighters, too. So we will do another freighter. And now I understand why this one has higher production, because they have two, sh two planets here. I should have understood that before, but I didn't... Oh, no, because 465, lord. Let's go and check this out compared. Yeah, it's still higher. Alright, so what we'll do is we'll build a freighter fleet. And then we aren't able to starbase this thing, so we will come back and do this. Let them build some infrastructure. Alright, choose a new sector. We're going to go ahead and continue this last one. You can build an outpost on Prosta, which we will. I wish I could actually... Like, I have to click this small little thing here instead of just clicking here, which doesn't make much sense to me. Alright, so... And then when I want to go to do the exploitation, I can just click the box. So, it's kind of silly. Alright, we're going to go to Arbitros here and maybe hopefully allow that planet to catch up in production. Alright, so we discovered a brown dwarf. There we go. And it's okay. All right. That could be really good for us. So now we're going to switch a little bit here. We're actually going to take this and produce a colony ship and make them faster. That's a great planet. A great find. That's what I really like about the robot exploration stuff is that like it continues that like whole exploit mechanic or sorry explore mechanic 
much longer into the game. I mean, you can... Things pop up. Which I think is pretty cool. Alright, so we've got four people now. We've acquired the philanthropic trait. Cool. So, people like me now. And what is it that I want? What is it that he wants? I should say. It's here. What do you want? So... Oh, he wants... Some... Ships at his place. So we'll do that. That's easy enough. Let's find a place where this can go first. Okay. That's where it's going to go. You go there, and you guys go here. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. My throat was dry. I would normally have turned off my microphone, but I'm visible. Okay, there we go. All right, so possible to explore ruins. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and explore those ruins. So your way team approached the unfamiliar looking ruins with a sense of awe as they prepared to investigate. As the team examined these structures closely, they noticed a symmetry and beauty that was pleasing to the eye and the morale was lifted as a result. And nice. So we've gained an additional 700 BC. So this is actually a good planet for us as well. It's not... Wait, is it? Yeah, it is ideal. And But it's ultra poor. That's the problem. So production per population is only one. But now we want to send it here. and See what the special is here. We have a fleet report. And... Yeah, you guys can leave. See you later. Alright, population increase, very good. And then now we're going to be working towards your goal of how many turns? So at least five turns. And if it's within turn one, okay, yeah, we're going to actually double that. Great. All right. All right, so now we will take a look at our production. 526. All right, that's what I was looking for. All right. Okay, so choose a new sector. We're going to go ahead and look in the upper right here. We can now upgrade the infrastructure here, which is also great. This one's the moon, so I'm not super... Or is it like barren? Yeah, it's barren. It looks like a moon to me. But... I'm not sure where to go with this one. Maybe we'll go planetary supercomputer. Construction slots, maybe. Yeah, maybe we do that. Oh, I'm not sure. So plus 50% building construction on colony, plus 1.5 RP per pop unit to construction research. This one will gain plus one RP per pop unit to economics research. This is to weapons research, and this is to defenses research. So this one actually, plus one ship support units, crew of ships are built here, are start at a regular level. So that's what I was told. I was told to probably maybe focus on this a little bit more, on the ships, or on the planets that I'm going to build attack ships, like my, my main planet there. So I, I, told you, I chose this because what I want to do is I want to actually increase our weapons research, and I'm going to take the supercomputer... And I'm going to wait until another population. So another time we get population at WASIF 1, we're going to go ahead and switch that. All 
All right, hover tanks are completed. And let's go ahead and figure out something else we're going to research on. So, Galactic Navigation Archive plus two travel speed can travel to Dark Nebula. And no, this is a Galactic Wonder, only one in game. Let's go ahead and build that. Let's research it and then build it and gain some speed so we can start moving around a little bit faster than all these people. So, and I'd really like to maybe pop through here. Actually, that'd be great for when I want to start attacking. Pop through there real quick. All right, so our desire was fulfilled. Great, so now he's going to be even happier. And we've lost some respect from these guys. But that's fine. You do you. All right. All right, we've also had some... Looks like some experience gain with one of our ships. All right, what are we going to do now? So... Let's consider what we're doing here. This one actually is a wormhole all the way over here. I'd like to see what's going on on the other, on the other side there. And we've learned here what's going on here. So let's look in here. Here we go. Ultra rich. That is absolutely a huge priority for me. So now we can build an outpost here. And we have Maybe now we do science. Yeah, I think we've, we've done enough enough for production. Our productions are our, our production rates are really good right now, at least for the the point in the game we are at. So let's. Do I see anything else that's maybe not? Then we've got, of course, this one here. I want to kind of send my survey ship <laughs> through the wormhole, even though I know it's not the best idea. Maybe we send it now, because I bet you there's a reason why they're not there. We're going to send it there and then see what's on the other side. Might be a bad idea. Who knows? All right, who's here? So... Is it me and the Platians? Yeah, it looks like it. So I'm going to go ahead and say... No attack for now. For now. Alright, so we've gained more in the way of research, which is great. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start to... Is this infrastructure? Yes. We're going to slightly increase the infrastructure there. And there's nothing here worth anything to me. So we'll move away from there. Send you up here. And then that should be good for now. Oh, nope. Whoops. All right, there we go. So we've completed the colony ship, which is great. And we're going to go ahead and start focusing on infrastructure so I can build a space base. Starbase and send you to this fantastic planet. What else is here? Not ideal. Another barren planet. We're not going to take it just yet. Oh, nice. More achievements. All right, Galactic Navigation Archive. So we've actually finished the research of it. So now we're going to take it. Obtain maximum infrastructure level in a colony and have five active exploitations in asteroid belts at one time. Nice. All right, cool. So infrastructure and colony waste stuff has reached its maximum capacity. So this is where we wanted to shift focus once it was done. So. If I build that, I'm not going to be able to build anything else. And that's fine. This planet is not necessarily something that I'm worried about. Wait, no. This one is. This one is somewhere that I should probably build a starbase at. So, remote exploration has revealed nothing. We've now gained seven, or we have now seven pops there. You discovered a neutron star. Wow. 
Uh, okay. Cool. So there is a star right there. Possible to explore ruins into. Wow, I didn't realize there were ruins there. So now we're going to we're going to figure out what's there. So we discovered massive ruins of unique unknown geometry and prepared to map carefully to avoid getting lost. Sometimes something about these ruins causes the team's drones to malfunction, slowing exploration. The team is shocked to find the weapons data core ancient artifact laying in plain sight with no traps, alien monsters, fire. Oh, wait, nothing there. So plus 20 to weapons research. Fantastic. That's a great find. All right, so I want to send you here now instead. Might be bad. Who knows? So... Let's see what else should we be doing here. Imperial Space Academy, four XP to ships. No, we're not going to worry about anything back there. We could worry about something like a neutron beam or Polaris missile. We'll do which one's going to be. So the 14 damage, 4 to 12. Let's do missiles. Plus, I like the range. So, infra upgrade. Since we're going to be building ships here, we're going to go ahead and add this. And we'll explore that sector that sector again. I wonder how we found that if that wasn't where we were sending our remote exploration. Alright, so we're now regular. That's good. Space Amoeba is still present there. What do you guys have doing here? Let's look to see how things are shaping up right now. We're slightly taking the lead here. The Platians are just out of control. So with that, I really want to get to a point where... What are we, what are we doing here? Have we gotten to the point where we're close to that? Wow, 608. So they've jumped up. How did they jump up to 608? Whatever. I'll take it. So the judge is a few turns out, but then let's... Alright, Starbase is three turns out. We can buy... Yeah, for 572, we'll go ahead and knock that out. Alright, Polaris Missile. And what I want to do now is I want to look to the judge and consider what's going on here. So it's got tungsten missiles, but one of them is auto fire and one of them is a point defense and then heavy mount. Let's get rid of the laser and add Polaris missile. Maybe reduce one, we'll take two of these instead. Oh, we can go with three maybe. There we go. All right, so this could have actually helped us with maneuverability. But we're not going to be able to do anything. We're not going to actually be able to get there. Travel speed 2, combat speed 10. I think I'd rather have the extra missile. No, we're not going to go... Oh, there's different... Oh, cool. Alright, I'll take that one. Sure. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't want to do that. I was trying to move around. There we go. Those ship models do look really good. All right, class two shields, special systems, anything cool, nano swarm. That's what we actually gained. I believe that was something we got from one of those ruins. All right, so we're going to save changes to this. Yes. And now, so it has Polaris missile. Wait, no. Judge here, right? Tungsten, Tungsten Polaris. Alright. And we'll look at the Executioner. I think, I'm not sure we're able to build that yet. Executioner, what do we need? So the Titan construction technology is required to allow building Titan class starships. Okay. Then maybe we look at the Juror as well, since it's the smaller, the cruiser size. It's got a fusion beam, a Polaris missile, and a laser. Let's go ahead and get rid of the laser and see if we can increase this. We can. So make it a bit, bit, bit more maneuverable. And we'll do that instead. So we'll have the jurors as more maneuverable. And the judge is a bit more powerful. Which sounds about right. 
<laughs> a judge is more powerful than a, jur a juror. All right, so research and for upgrades. So what have we been doing here? This will be plus RP per pop to construction research. Plus 15 planetary engineering flat to all support ships in the Empire. Plus 50% terraforming on planet. I do want to eventually want to terraform this one. Of course, I also want more slots. But we're not we're not leveled out yet here on that one, so. Oh good, so they've completed the starbase. That's right, because we bought it out. So let's go ahead and add a judge. How about a juror too? So let's go ahead and push that way a bit more. I know you can do better than that, so let's do it. Alright, research. Where are we gonna go with this? Phaser rifle? Or let's see. Galactic Knowledge Exchange. Galactic Spaceport. Plus 25. Synthetic Food. Plus 25% pop growth on Empire. I'm going to take that. I feel like that's a good thing. I know it's a good thing. Alright, so what do you desire? I wish you could build a Galactic Navigation Archive in my system. Arbitros. Well, that's actually a good place to put it. So we're going to. Can we? Oh, we can't. Three adventure space culture pricks required to unlock this wonder construction. Damn. I'm not going to be able to do it then. There's very little chance I'm going to be able to fulfill your desires here. I'll build the judge and then I'm going to swing up and try to get some more infrastructure going there. That's fine. Sophia can leave. Colonization possible at Adun. Okay, great, great. We've made it there. And we're going to go ahead and colonize this planet. Just kidding. All right, great. So we'll do the robotic factory because that's my thing. And then they're saying to... We'll do that, and then we're going to like switch to infrastructure and eco to allow for population growth, because that's what I've been told is a better way to do things. Oh, yep, we want to go ahead and f finish this. So, eco engineering on planet. What is that? What is eco engineering on planet? Let's see what if we're <laughs> some of this stuff is a little crazy. Eco engineering. Ecological level, 20% morale plus 20% population growth. I imagine that means that's additional to that. But you know what? Honestly, we don't need to worry about the ecological too much because this is a good biome for us. So we're going to add this so we can add some speed to some of the stuff that we're going to build. But we're going to be fine. Emperor, I'm sad to report that our latest colony, Erdu, has already suffered its first terrorist incident. The saboteur has destroyed the settlement's beloved planetfall monument with an improvised bomb and then fled into untamed barrens before he could be apprehended. Luckily, the damage is more symbolic than material. The saboteur appears to be a disgruntled lone wolf rather than operate with ties to any extremist movement or alien empire. All the same, this situation presents us with something of a dilemma. Hunting down the saboteur is arguably a waste of resources. Alone and without support of, his un of this under-civilized planet, he has no hope of surviving more than a few days at most. Yet, the citizens of Ardun... Udun are outraged by the destruction of their symbol of hope. Even an emperor cannot ignore the will of the people, and a terrorist cannot escape the emperor's justice. Yeah, we're going to find you. There's not, I, I didn't even think about it. Alright. Oh, they've taken that. How can they... You... You actually didn't take the spot that I would have. Which is cool with me, so let's make that happen real quick. So there's a Neutronium, Tourism, and Research. And for some reason you guys didn't take it. That's where I would have gone. Outpost ship, we'll push it all the way to the top. Two turns. 
Okay, you know what? We're done. Research decision. Neutronium shells plus temper kinetic damage per source kills one marine per yes. Neutronium bombs. Neutronium reju rejuvenation plus one percent morale and proper source of neutronium plus ten percent population growth. And neutronium armor coating. Negative twelve point five percent. Oh my god. I'm gonna take to protect. That's really good. All right, well, we're gonna send you back up to here and we'll maybe jump down here to see what's going on. I'm gonna next turn it and then hopefully, hopefully can beat, I'm hoping they're not sending another Apple ship there. We made contact with the Draguls. The renowned Khan Sla, Grand Master of the Mighty Dragul has granted you an audience, Justice Friend. Shall we discuss the future of empires? Sure. We have a profit between trade. Let's do it. Yes, a crate. Cool. We're trading. And we made contact with the Nova Vita as well. Welcome, just friend. We envision great things rising from our meeting today. What do we owe to what do we owe the owner? Can we do a trade treaty too? Cool. I like it. And remote exploration activities on sector is nothing to report. Sirix pop increase. We discovered a white dwarf. Where is that? Where is it? I don't see it. Am I blind? Discovered a and F one. So where's F one? F one would be all the way down here. F1 is like right around the bottom here. So white dwarf here. All right. I don't know how that showed up, but that had to have led to our meeting of the minds there. Looks like the Nova Vita are also really doing really great. So let's go ahead and take out the cakes because they are actually taking over. Somehow, I don't know how I suck at this game, but I do. All right, cool. So stick around. We're gonna we're gonna take a, an episode break, and in a couple days you'll see what the heck I can do with this. I have no idea. But until next time, this is Rob from Exploring. Keep exploring.